This video is the 2024 update on the Rucker 4.0 from GORUCK. And I've seen a lot of questions recently about the Rucker 4.0 and it's been out for about a year now. And unfortunately we've updated it without really updating the nomenclature. It's not a 4.1, it's not a 4.0 plus. It's still just the Rucker 4.0. So, but it's different than the originally released 4.0, at least in this 20 liter size. So we're gonna go through some of the details of what's changed. So I have the original 4.0 that I got when they released it and I've got what they just came out with, some little subtle differences. So we're gonna compare the two so you know what you're getting if you order a 4.0 right now. And it is better than the original, but it's different. So what's really different and, and really to kind of get to what's different about the Rucker, we really need to start with the plates. Now I'm gonna talk about the GORUCK Ruck plates. And there, over the years we've had different sizes. We initially had ones that fit in the laptop compartment on a GR1. And then when we came with the Rucker, we had shorter plates that fit in a plate pocket that was specifically designed. Cool, right? Well, then we got the bigger bags and bigger plates. And so anyway, so right now things break down into really two categories, short plates or long plates. So right here we have a 45 pound plate and this is the taller variety. You can't make it in the shorter variety. We also have a 30 pounder, which is also in the same dimensions. And then we have shorter plates. So tall plates, long plates, 30 and 45 or in the shorter variety, we have 30, 20, and 10. I know it sounds complicated, but really when we get into the plate pockets, it's gonna make a little more sense. What I really want you to know is originally I put out videos with this weight right here, which was the original 10 pounder, which was just basically half size of the 20 pound plate. Makes sense, right? Cut it in half, 20 pounds, cool, right? Well, those are no longer here. We now have, if you order a 10 pound plate, it looks just like the same profile as the shorter plates. And the genius of this is when you're starting off, if depending on what you, where you want to start, you can start with a 10 pounder, put it in the short plate pocket, more about that when we get to this 20 liter size. And then when you upgrade, you can get a 20 pound weight, cool. And then you could actually put the 10 and the 20 pound together to equal 30 pounds and the same profile as getting a 30 pound short plate. Now I do all my events with a 30 pound plate because I weigh more than 150 pounds, go ruck standard. If you're less than 150, then you typically wear a 20 pound plate with your rucker. So, or carry the equivalent of weight in your rucksack. Either way, it's cool, right? You can go 10, then 20, put them together and then you don't need to get a 30 pound plate if that's as high as you were gonna go. If you're gonna go heavier than 30 pounds, things get a little more awkward just because the way the plates are fit into what's now a 20 liter Rucker. So, all right, that's enough about plates, right? Tall, short, that's really the big differences here in terms of the GORUCK weight plates. One last little note about weight plates, you can get weight plates other places, but I just, I'll put up the dimensions here of a tall 45 pounder a tall 30 pounder and then the short 30 pounder. So just you kind of have all things sort of outlined here. If you're gonna find plates on Amazon, other places, just check the dimensions of what you're buying and then figure out what plate pockets you're gonna put it in. It's not exactly that easy of a transition, but it'll make sense here in a second. All right, back to the Ruckers. So here I have three different Ruckers. I have my 3.0 25 liter, I have the 4.0 original, and I have the 4.0 latest edition. You can tell the latest editions because they have the GORUCK logo in here. The latest editions that just came out most recently have a more subdued logo. The first time we came out with these, they actually had a more bright logo, which people just didn't really like. You know, the original ones didn't have that. They just had, they started coming out with a spearhead down here, which is still included on the latest edition of the 4.0. And now they're kind of subduing that logo. So it's still there, but it's just not um, in your face of a contrasting color. So think about that. Anyway, 
just briefly, the big updates from the 3.0 to the 4.0 was we removed this front slash pocket. And we also have Velcro instead of zippers on the inside. So we were completely removed internal and the external zips with the exception of the master big zipper, mostly because you know, guys were, and girls, were throwing these things around and they were, you know, in an event and the weight was crushing the zippers and Scars was continuously preparing zippers. So to kind of cut down on a lot of that damage, they removed all the zippers. That's it. I'll talk about more what I would think in a 5.0 would be awesome at the end. Either way, most of the design is the same. Why do I have a 3.0? Well, in the original 4.0 design, we did not have the ability to carry more than just the one plate. The bigger bags, and this is the 3.0, had two plate pockets only in, and this is the same thing in the 4.0 originally, the bigger bag, the 25 liter, had the ability to carry a big, tall 45 pounder and an additional plate in front of it. So you had a dual plate pocket set up in this original. Also wasn't padded on the top. Uh, more about that here in a little bit. So anyway, three, but I had the original zippers like a GR1 style and a pocket up here, that kind of thing. So I've always had the taller bags because I just wanted the ability to carry more than 30 pounds for training, even though on an event day, I just needed a 30 pound plate. So I would train heavier than would use on game day. There you go. Now, the original 4.0 had in the 20 liter size, just one elevated plate pocket. Now it was improved. We added some padding here, which is nice. And the rest of it was essentially the same. We don't have a stretchy pocket like we had in the older versions. And we had some D-rings, which we remove now in the latest editions. I never use the D-rings, so it's not really a big deal for me, but one plate pocket. So that's why I needed two rucks because I want to train heavier. Now this one is also no logo in the front and it's a 500D bag. And of course a really cool color multicam Tropic, but it's a 500D bag. Now all of the ones that are listed in different colors, I'll tell you over here what they are, but they are all back to 1000D, 1000D bomb proof material that is really, you know, overkill. I've used the 500D in several events, had no issues with it. Forgot to mention, they put 210D on the back panel, which is still here now. So really the biggest difference is between this bag, the original 4.0, the most recent 4.0, 1000D logo on the front, and wait for it, oh, there's two things on the inside. Boom, bright orange interior, which is, you know, take it or leave it. I really doesn't, doesn't bother me. It's on the inside. It is higher contrasting, so you can find stuff easier on the inside than you would otherwise in an all black bag like this is multicam black. But we have two play pockets. We have the tall and we have the short and we have the paddedness that we had uh, in the original 4.0 that we didn't have in the 3.0. We have this pad on the front and we have a block in the bottom just kind of helps with the elevation of that weight plate. Drain holes, everything else that you love in a rucker is still here. So really cool, huh? D-ring of course for the hydration and uh, a hydration port on the way out. So that's the inside of the newest 20 liter. Now, there's one thing that I'm just not, was never super stoked about the, the dual pocket setup is when you put your 30 pound plate in here, if you're doing an event, there is a little bit of play, right? So it's just not kind of lashed down to your back like you would have in the original 4.0. One very minor little detail is you've got a little bit of play in here between what's in this out, outer pocket on the inside. So, if you weren't going higher than 30 pounds, then you might consider just getting the taller 30 pound plate that would sit in this back pocket. You could also consider putting the short 30 pounder in the back pocket to have it more close to your back. However, you're gonna have a little bit of issue with the it maybe sliding as you go down into a plank position, push up, burpee, bear crawl, that kind of thing. So something to consider. Still have all the other things that are in there. So there you go. Let's 
that's the differences. Let's put some plates in there just to kind of show you what it would look like, both in a game day for me, 30 pound mode, and in a training mode with the 45 pounder. Let's start with the heavyweight mode, 45 pounder. Actually, let's start with just the 30 pound plate. So putting the 30 pound plate inside the bigger tall pocket gives you a couple inches of space in there. Now you can cinch this pocket down and that plate is, you know, it's just got a little bit of room to slide up if you were down in a plank position. So I wouldn't recommend putting just the 30 pounder in this back tall pocket. You would put it in this outer pocket, which is, that's what it's designed for, this shorter plate. Pocket is very tight, fits in there just like you would want it, and then cinch it down. Now, just like I said earlier, this is slightly elevated, or it's slightly away from your back, and it's just got a little bit of room to play. So at the top, because of the Velcro, it's cinched down. So it's really just a little bit of room back there. Not a ton, but just something to consider. If you want to, really want this thing cinched down, locked down, you're gonna need either the taller 30 pound plate or one of the original 4.0s. So I don't know. All right, let's dial things up to a 45 pound plus mode. We'll start with just 45 pounder. All right, so here we are. With just the 45 pound plate, sticks up a little bit above. Um, and then we can just cinch this thing down. It is totally locked in, dialed into the back plate pocket. Let's do one thing here. Let's try to manipulate this little block. You know, there is this little spacer block. And kind of depends on what you want with it. I guess you could take it all the way out. I really have never gotten a straight answer on what this spacer block is exactly designed to do. But we're gonna put that thing, uh, hold the bottom out. Basically that spacer block is now perpendicular to the bottom of the plate. Just gives it a little bit more, better fit. Uh, and now, so what's cool about this is now I'm kind of dialed in 45 pounds around town. That's usually what I would do as I'm training. I train it at a heavier weight than I would for game day weight. But this pocket, again, dual pads right here and on the other one so you can put another plate in there. If you really wanted to up your game, maybe just start with this 10 pound plate on the outside, since it down. And you can add the 20 pound plate, which is under here. Now we have 65 pounds, right? Then if you just had this, add that all in there, 30, now we have 70 pounds. Fit. We just have a ton of capacity. To just totally knock yourself out with a ton of weight. Uh, 75 pounds uh, on your back is gonna be significant. Not something that you would do for a long duration event, but if you were just gonna maybe do some circuit intervals, that kind of thing, or you know, maybe you really are strong enough, but it's not something I would, me personally, routinely do. It would be for some short interval stuff. But there you go. That's the newest, latest edition of the Rucker 4.0. High-vis interior, double play pocket on the 20 liter size, which I'm a big fan of, because this, as it is, becomes a situation where you only need one bag to train beyond your 30 pound weight limit to add things and just really kind of do it. Does that mean I'm gonna get rid of my original? No, pr probably not. Got some history with this one. It's a great color, no logo in the front. And 
the ability to just put a 30 pound plate in there is awesome. So this might be the game day ruck. Still with a 30 pound plate in it all the time. I'll probably use like I have it here, the 45 and then varying the 10 and the 20 pounds. So you really just have a ton of versatility now with you know now two rucks, but you don't need to do it that way. If the 20 liter size was for you, then you can go this direction. Kind of brings me to another point, just so this video is sort of one stop shop. I'm gonna show up some videos here, um, some photos of me with both a, now it's a GR1, but the dimensions of the GR1, 21 and 26 liter is the same as the 20 and 25 liter Ruckers. So the, the dimensions that you're going to see here are the exact same in terms of sizing a bag for you. Now I'm 5'9". My torso is 20.5 inches tall. The dimensions of these bags are just the same as you've seen in the photos. So you can make a determination of for you which one's going to work better for you. At the end of the day, you really want this lumbar pad in the small part of your back and not sort of on your tailbone or lower than your shorts line because that's going to cause some irritation. So there you go. Some accessories that you might want to consider for the rucker if you are just getting one. First of all, you're going to need a rucker and you need a plate. Now, they're all coming with sternum straps that are colored matched to it. So this one has black, this one came with a coyote, and it's cool, right? The only other accessories that you might want to consider is first, you might want to consider from GoRuck their hip belts because the hip belts are specifically designed for the rucker in terms of making it work. Now this is, and what's kind of annoying is originally the, when I bought the Rucker 3.0 25 liter, they came with hip belts. They don't do that anymore. So you're gonna have to go get yourself a hip belt. This is, happens to be a multi-cam black one, which is cool because now I'm gonna use it here. But otherwise you just get a black one for the multi-cam black um, or check the website out for different colors. These are unique because they have the webbing, molly webbing that they attach to the webbing on the side of the rucker so you can have a hip belt. Now I don't ruck around with a hip belt typically. It is if I'm doing a long endurance event, it's an alternative way for me to uh, loosen the straps, have the weight on my hips. But as I'm rucking, it's most, most of the weight is on my shoulders typically as I'm rucking. This is essentially for an event where I'm gonna again be down in a plank position, that kind of thing to keep the bag from all sliding at my back and that plate connecting with the back of my head. So that's the purpose behind a hip belt for a go ruck event. Again, longer duration event, you might have one just to kind of release some of the tension on your shoulders for a long range kind of event. So there you go. So that's accessories, hip belt, a hose retention clip for your hydration bladder. Definitely get a hydration bladder if you're going to be doing an event. And then some clips, some sort of straps to put on your the molly webbing on your shoulder straps to just give you another hand position uh, or lift the the ruck off of your shoulders occasionally just to release a little tension as well. So that's kind of briefly some accessories for the rucker. That's what's new about the plates and the rucker in the latest 4.0. Still don't have a front slash pocket and that brings me to the last part of the, well there's two more things I wanna talk about. Uh, I'll finish off with my 5.0 request list, but right now let's ask or answer some of the questions you asked me about the Rucker. So let's just get to those questions. So first of all, uh, is all black coming back? Well, I don't know. GoRuck doesn't tell me what they're ordering. We do have a more black edition. I don't foresee them taking the logo off, at least in the near term, but they could maybe and the 5.0 if we ever see that. 500D versus 1000D, is it a big deal? I don't think so. I have beat this 500D one up and it's just doing uh, fine. There is about a half pound difference between this one and the newest edition. Now that comes down to two factors. One, bigger plate pocket in the latest edition and two going from 500 to 1000D. So mostly the plate pocket being the big difference there in terms of added weight, but it is a half pound heavier compared to the original 4.0. Why did we remove the D-rings inside? Um, I don't know. It's probably because most people didn't even know they were there or they asked questions what they were there for. They were handy if you were trying to hold down your bladder on the inside uh, with a strap that came across, but 
to be honest, I never used the D ring. So the fact that they're gone is just um, trivia. What's up with that bright logo? I think they heard you. I think they heard people's complaining about the bright contrasted color logo. And now they're going to more neutral or coded color coded to the bag color. So like the Ranger green had one, the dark green. So it's still there. You can see it, but it's more subdued, not such a, a bright logo. Somebody asks, is the Velcro annoying to use if you are changing plates regularly? I don't think so. I think the amount of Velcro is appropriate because you really want this thing not coming apart. When you're doing an event, you're gonna probably not be clean the whole time. There's dirt that's gonna get in these teeth of the, or the, the hook, sand, that kind of stuff, and it's gonna degrade the effectiveness until you clean it out of some of this hook and loop. So having more of it's better, um, and it's never, I would say, restrictive from moving these plates around. I think it's an appropriate amount and I've had no problem with it. Any chance for a clean unbranded exterior to come back? I don't think so. I think this is what we're gonna have for the near term, but I don't know. Maybe with the 5.0, we'll go with a different direction in terms of branding. I've got a couple other questions in here I'm hoping to get answers about, but brings me to my 5.0 wish list. How would I make this thing better? Now, I think we did one massive update to this that I really do like, and the fact is, that I can get a, f a 20 liter bag with both plate pockets available to me. So that was again my big headache is the original one, I couldn't use a 45 pound plate. I had to get the bigger bag, which was counterproductive to somebody who was not tall enough to really to use a 25 liter bag. So now that we have that ability to carry both plates in the 4.0, I think we answered most of my biggest headache. Now there is one other one, that's zippers and pockets being removed in terms of functionality of the bag. First off, zippers. So the zippers on the inside, I will say I do miss them. And I would rather they be back. This is not very quiet and it does get dirty and, some, and after a while they're wet, they're sandy. These things just don't tend to stick as much as you know the zippers would be. And I never really had any problems with my zippers. I never had any of them smashed. I don't see the zippers on the inside coming back, but I would really, if I had one request for the 5.0, it would be just to put this pocket back here because this was my snack pocket. And I really miss my quick and easy access to snacks. There's also my gloves. I would put them in there if I wasn't using them and didn't want them to be flying around. So I really do miss this pocket that we had here. So that's like my one request is 5.0 to have that. What else would they do? I don't know, man. This thing is really over the years from the original Rucker to 4.0, we really have done a lot. Side handles came to the bag. We've got additional padding for to prevent your head from contacting that, that big steel plate. So we really, you know, added visibility. So you're not really, we really don't need any external reflective strips because you really have one that's built in. So that's just me, 5.0, where is it? I don't know. If you look at the history of original Rucker, one, two, three, and now 4.0, every other year, basically every year we've had uh, a different edition. So I personally have no idea what 5.0 looks like or if it's even coming out, but 4.0 is pretty good. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I got more coming out, man. More about GORUCK stuff, sure, but there's a lot of other things that are just stacking up that need to be put out there. Some great reviews, some great bags that you all requested. I do, they're here. We're gonna get to them, I promise. With that, let's get outside. Enjoy the weather. See ya.